yes eventually we've got to the peacock okay so this is what we're going to be attempting uh, in this art video okay so as you expect anyway I'll just I'll do it in the very simplest way I can manage okay and we'll take it from there we have our color set up as usual over here to show you what we're going to be using just a quick run through it peacock colors you know you can freeze this uh, or take um, like a photo of yourselves you know on the video just to have the colors I'll write them down when I'm talking okay so we, we got a primary blue base which is different to the cobalt blue okay it's a bit deeper because we want it deeper than cobalt blue because there's a cobalt blue is the color of the peacock so what you can do is I mean you can use cobalt blue and to deepen it just put in a little bit of halo blue okay the halo blue which is the, the deepest blue that you have I know you have it in your in your paint box because it was on my paint list so a bit of tail blue in with cobalt blue and it will keep deep into it just give it that that little bit of extra depth that we need okay we well, like permanent green that's going to go into the decorations in the eyes on the feathers okay then cadmium yellow deep that's going to be part of the little eyes as well as we call them cadmium red light going to be in there as well light blue permanent that's going to be in there in here sorry in between the feathers to break up the feathers to give sense of light coming through bright aqua green that's going to be in here in the little eye forms in the feathers cadmium orange medium that's going to be in there as well cadmium yellow light that's going to be there as well to lift it and then the lines or the delineations as we call them the really dark lines they're not black as you know they're a mixture of cadmium red deep and thalo cyanine blue or thalo blue as we call it you know you can leave out that part and just call it thalo blue so basically they're all the colors um and it's the way that they're combined that gives the effect of the the peacock the feel of it and also has that sort of um stained glass effect to it as well and uh as we progress i'll explain if you don't have the colors you ask me as well on youtube or on the whatsapp group if you don't have the particular colors we can use other colors these are the colors that i suggest but you might put other colors into your peacock you know like the peacock is is the male obviously and then the peahen is the female and it's the peacock that has the vibrant colors whereas the peahen has a drab colors so they're not really as exciting so this is why i mean i've been painting oh my god the peacock motif for over 20 years now i've also painted realistic peacocks as well but it's the motif it's ex exploring the different combinations different colors like an orange peacocks they don't exist but i paint them red peacocks you know very varying the color of red and the, the color orange on them but anyway that, that basically what we're going to go for is the standard one which you can see there in the background and which i have showed you here on this printout so basically what we're going to start with is just a very simple sketch that's all you do first of all with your pastel pencil or even with a thin brush with a bit of light blue or white and basically what we're going to do is we'll take these down i think you have those colors now if you need them again ask me i can put them up on whatsapp the whatsapp group or send me an email or whatever you want to do it we have a portrait shape this time okay because it's a portrait of a peacock and basically what we're going to do is we're just going to get a circle here slightly not center okay just slightly above center but within the center according to the base of it of the canvas here it does not be exact but then it's slightly above halfway i always do this just to give myself a few little marks okay and i position it on the easel you see so as the vertical bar goes down straight through it and that divides it you see into one two three four so half would be here but i think just above halfway we're going to sort of have a loose loose circle like this okay can you see that very loose you know use one of your paint tubes use something with a large round you know base on it or top to get your circle and then basically we're going to continue down narrow the neck and then come out like this narrow the neck and then come out like this to give it a broad sort of chest or whatever okay and basically we're going to put in we're going to put in a beak now anyway and an eye form for better forget about the crown like the crown will come up here all right 
but we're, you know, don't do it. I'm just showing you like what possibly it will look like when we're when we're finished it, or the crest as they call it. But that's the basic shape you want to get in so far. And you see the way it sort of straddles your halfway mark on either side. You have you have the equal. And basically, then we go on to separating the feathers. And if you can th think of the idea of a bicycle wheel or the rays of the sun, this is what we want to do. We're, we're basically going to start off with a line going down like this, okay? Going up here like this, then as rays of the sun would spread out. See, I'm going through the, the crest, so it doesn't matter. Can you see what I mean? You're coming down like this. It's getting narrow as it goes towards the body and the neck. And you have it coming in here like this. Lovely and down like that, okay? And you have those gaps. Can you see that idea? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine there. Doesn't necessarily have to be nine. Basically, <coughs> that's all we're doing for the moment. We don't have to put in any, we put in the details um, in the next video. But all I want you to do first of all is just get your cobalt blue um, here, which we have. Where have we got it now? Where have we got it? Where have we got it? Oh yeah, we have it over here. This is it, but well, I'm going to use a little bit of this. This is the only one I have at the moment. In fact, I don't know cobalt. I'm using the primary blue. Okay, the primary blue, and I'm going to put a little bit of the light blue in it because I just want to start off with the center part here. Forget about your details within the body. We're just going to get the area of the, the entire body of the peacock first, just to get that shape in. It's number one okay and forget about that the bottom part of the circle because it's all going to be one okay around like this can you see that just follow the lines i'm using a big square brush for it okay which we always like a big square brush just coming down like this just to show you that shape to break it away from the background just to get you to start off with one one simple step okay and what we have to do is we have to dry that okay and that's all I want you to do to start off with. Just a simple beginning for a simple motif of a peacock. Which, you know, it took a while to develop these various motifs. Many years, in fact. As you know, it's, it's, it takes a long time to simplify something. But that's basically all I want you to start with. Simple as that. And then we get back, we work on the other uh, shapes around it. Okay, good to see you all again. Be back soon.